going to be able to predict where when a function pointer is accomplished and assembly, it's usually a register based uh, instruction like call EAX, uh, call ECX or an offset to ECX usually if you're dealing with, uh, with a C++ class. So they're going to be broken in some way or another. So it's the same way with the C++ STL is usually okay but sometimes it's, it'll, it'll wind up getting fucked. So you're going to have to deal with that. Um, the more clever you get, it, if you get into the preamble uh, postscript stuff I was talking about, the more you think about it, the more it gets really complicated because, oh, okay, I'm going to push this here and this set here and then, then uh, oh, where's the dragon book? I need the dragon book. And it, it's, it's usually what will. I'm about to kill it, Adam. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, though, I should get some food. <laughs> but anyway, um, it really becomes a really quick slippery slope from, you know, hey, I can put a jump instruction here, and then you wind up digging through the dragon book for months and months on end trying to figure out what exactly you're doing. So, I think I'm pretty short on time, but that's essentially the end of it. Uh, I hope you uh, learned something today. I got really drunk, so I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, so if you if you want to follow me on Twitter, my like I said earlier, my Twitter account is Frank Squared. I have a blog and a website. If you like ANSI, it's on my website. So uh, uh, cool. That that's my talk. Thank you very much for coming.